dear student now as i am uh, showing you now today i will going to show you the nested dictionary how to use how to create the nested dictionary okay so here is a program uh, based on the nested dictionary now how the nested dictionary is from here uh, the particular uh, program you can see here that i have created the list the list you can see there is a student uh, then name uh, then student again the name okay so uh, those are the things i am going to explain you part by part uh, how it is working how the thing is working and how it going to get the particular structure okay so as it is a dictionary dictionary means what combinations of different forms of the particular phrase now different form of the particular phase dictionary you can see it first what i have taken that i have said it import panda as pd now list list is what that uh, in this particular list what you are creating for the student okay so in the student you find it that a student what i have given the exam then the marks grade then the grade Three exams, as you can uh, find it. Three exam marks, three grade. Okay, name. I have given a one name. Again, one student. Three exam marks, three grade. Now, what it came? See name. Then the name of the particular person. Then the student. Grade, exam. Grade, exam. Grade, exam. Okay. That means you are seeing this. All the numerical value is shifted back. Okay, and it takes the value of what of the particular structure. Now it has taken here the rosy kutti. Now this particular thing, what we find it that when I am calling this particular as a list, when I am calling it as a list, in this list, what you can see, you can see the structures are being formed. This is the data a dictionary nested dictionary structure that means this is a nested dictionary loop okay initializations of the nested dictionary loop so this is the nested dictionary loop that has been utilized here and that has been implemented here so in this nested dictionary what you are seeing you are seeing see the thing very nicely here i have given the students and their marks next i have given the name so with a name you cannot see any of the values are there so it has taken as a first so name is there after the name with the each of this you can find the values are there so since each of the thing the values are there they are being uh, differentiated in this way again the name will be taken again this second part student part will be taken and it will be differentiated in the similar pattern that means similar way so this is one type of idea that you can get from here that when you are calling any uh, type of uh, dictionary when you are converting the list into the nested dictionary that is it is making a nested loop it is forming a loop you can see here this is one loop this is another part okay so those the part what is there when it is entering it it is making a loop from here and creating a loop it is retrieving the values value retrieving is very important thing it is retrieving the values okay so those the values what it is retrieving from here you can see it that each of the values it has retrieved in a very systematic way systematic way means first it has take the only alphabetical figures then alphabetic with a numerical figures okay so this is how your this particular execution has been done so in this execution the moral fact or the thing that you are going to learn from here that when you are giving uh, the particular list list you can convert into the dictionary okay you can convert the list into a nested dictionary that is a major thing that is highlighted in this particular area so as you are converting the list into a dictionary this is how the dictionary structure will be formed okay this is how the dictionary structure will be formed that means dictionary will going to take first the alphabets and then the numerical phrases and then alphanumeric values